more white man lives. That's what we're here for. It's to give edification to our people so we can stop sinning. Right. And learn how to live righteously. What's your question, sir? So this is a, a, a commandment to who? Okay. We have uh, let's go back and... Have you ever bald head? Revelation 1 and 1. All right. Read it again. Yes, sir. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Now we all know uh, revelation means to reveal, right? Read. The book of Re Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. No, no, continue reading that. Okay. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. God gave Christ the revelation to reveal to whom? To show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. His servant in reference of John, giving him the revelation of things that will come in latter days, right? Read it, jump to verse 14. The book of Revelation, chapter one, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hair were white like wool. Okay, I can, what's, what's woolly hair? Who got woolly hair? Well, I'm just gonna be Ships. a part of the problem. Okay, um, uh, would you be able to identify the same texture hair as uh, sheep hair? Yes, right? Okay. Um, is this guy have woolly hair? No, he doesn't. Continue. As white as snow. Is this guy have white hair? No, that's right too. Read on. And his and, eyes. And look at this at the same time, okay? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, he says his eyes was red as a flame of fire. Why was his eyes red? Because he drank wine. It prophesied that in, give me that in Genesis 49 and, and, and 12. It prophesied, Moses prophesied saying that he will have eyes red because he drank wine. If, if you have any relative, you know, that drink wine or when they're angry, you will see that their eyes turn red. Right. That's, that's what it's going into. Listen, read. The book of Genesis chapter 49 uh -huh. verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. It, see, exactly what we just read about saying that his eyes will be red. Why? Because he drunk wine. Okay? Now, uh, uh, go back to Revelation. Continue. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 15. Uh-huh. And his feet. His feet. I can look at your feet. Based on the color of your feet, I can say what color your uh, complexion is, right? Would you, would I, would I, can I safely say that? Okay, read on. 
like unto fine bread. What color is brass? Also what? Obviously, uh, not white. It's not even white because white is, is this. That's white, not red. Uh, they they a different shade of red. Okay, um, go ahead. It says as if they burn in a furnace. Now, when you take uh, when you take uh, 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 what was the thing they, they say? Brass. When you take brass, you put it in a furnace. What color would it come? Black. Right. It comes from my complexion to his complexion. That's the color of Christ, not this demon right here. They give us this guy to deceive us so we can stay in sin. And when we stay in sin, we, will, we won't repent. And if we don't repent, we'll remain in the bottom. Give me that again, Judith 5 and 19. I'm going to show you why they're doing that. It's crafty. What they're doing is intentionally. They give us EBT, entertainment. They give us um, um, uh, sports. They give us sis. If you agree with what we're saying, why don't you stick around a little bit longer and learn more about your true heritage? That's what we're here for. We have all the things we could be doing, but we think it's more important to teach you guys your true nationality. Right. So we can get out of this situation. So we stick around a little bit longer. I didn't get to the solution yet. I'm showing you guys the things that we're going through, why we're going through them. Then I'm going to show you what we must do to get out of this situation. Right. Stick a little bit longer and you will learn more about it. Right. All right, all right, read it. The book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Uh -huh. Now, therefore, now this guy, uh, the, the general that came uh, in the area where they, they he, he overcome the whole area. Now, he's asking, inquiring of all the neighborhoods to come to him because he's, he's the owner of the whole town. Right. What I mean by town, I'm talking about country, right? And, and everybody came except the Israelites that was in the hill nation. So, he was asking of the neighborhood, why every one of y'all come? But this, this group of people, they didn't come down. Then you have this more by the so-called Chinese of today who was explained to him why they didn't come. Read that for me. I'll I just give you a little brief history so you know what it's all about. Read it. The book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 20. Uh -huh. Now therefore, my Lord and governor, uh -huh. if there be any error in this people, if you find any sin in this group of people in reference of Israel, uh -huh. and they sin against their God, uh -huh. let us consider that this shall be their rule. If they are in sin, let's use that as an advantage because we can fight them and overcome them because God won't be uh, with them. The moment we stay in sin, what do they do to keep us in sin? They give us entertainment. They give us sports. They give us uh, uh, Christianity. They give us all these things to keep us comfortable. Right. So we won't have to seek who we truly are. Bring it up. Once you know who you are, you will start applying God's commandment. When you start applying God's commandment, read. He will tell you. And let us go up, and we shall overcome them. You see, you, we will win if we go and fight them when they're not keeping God's commandment. That's going to give you the flip side. Read. But, but. If there be no iniquity, no sin. Iniquity means sin. If there be no sin in them, read. In their nation, uh -huh. let my Lord now pass by. Just pass by. Don't stop. Don't try to fight them. Don't even waste your time. Read. Let their Lord defend them. Because the Most High God will be with us when we're keeping God's commandments. Yes, yes. Read. And their God be for them. Uh -huh. And we become a reproach. You will be a laughing stock before the whole world. They're like, man, you got defeated by a small group of people. Why? Because we're keeping God's commandment. That's the reason why they give us this. That's the reason why they give us um, entertainment. That's the reason why they give us sports. All these things to keep us submissive. Right. We stay in section yeah. eight. They, they keep us in, in, in the ghettos. They give you funds, EBT, those things. So you don't want to move up. So you right. can remain in your lower estate. They want you to remain comfortable. Now, Let's see why we are in this situation. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We gotta, we gotta examine all the matters so we can get out of the situation. Why we, we went uh, in slavery and how can we get out um, this type of mentality? Because we're still in slavery, slavery as we're speaking today. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse Brothers, 15. Brothers, come around, man. We're here for you guys, teaching your true nationality according to the Bible. Read. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou will not hearken unto the voice, if you don't want to listen to God's word, of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, uh -huh. to do all his commandments, to keep his commandments, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, all these curses, shall come upon thee, 
and overtake me. Is curse is a good thing? Would you guys say curse is a good thing? No. All right, give me uh, verse 16. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. I'm going to show you that this Bible is a true living book. That's your history. That's why it's not for everyone. Because I can go in there and show you everything that you're going through right now. Right in there. That nobody else can claim. And we are about to prove that right now. Read. Right. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15, 16. 16. Thou shalt curse shall that be in the city. Now, it says curse shall that be in the city. Everywhere that black state, is it a good, good city? Or would you say they call it the ghetto, the slums, the, the section eight? Are these are uh, uh, area that you want to live in? No, because the Bible says curse will be in the city that you live in. Everywhere that we live, right. it's curse. You have Tallahassee, the south side considered a curse. No one want to stay in that side, but we have to stay in that side because that's where we can afford. Right. To show you that's a true living prophecy that we live in today. Jump to verse 30. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 30. This whole chapter is dedicated to us. This whole chapter, only us can say these things happen to us. Nobody else. Read. Thou shalt betroth a wife with her. Who did that happen to during slavery? Did that happen to the whole world? The Chinese, the Japanese, the, the uh, 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 um, Caucasian, whatever they call them. Did that happen to them? No, read. Thou shalt build in house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Who built this country? We did. People are afraid to talk about these things. And those are the things that will cure you when you speak of what really happened That's and right. how can you get out of it. Right. Right. Thou shalt plant a vineyard. Who and planted the sugar cane, the cotton field, the tobacco, all those things. We did. And what did he say? What will happen? And shall not gather the grapes thereof. Did we get any recompense of those things that we planted? No, we didn't. We did not. Jump to verse uh, uh, 32. I'm gonna show you everything that, I, and I'm giving you some. I'm not really going through everyone. I'm skipping some and ju ju jump to some, some of them. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, uh -huh. chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. When did that happen? And who did it happen to? You have your children, young little ones, and they split the families. They have the little ones go live in a different area, or they will take your young ones, use them for different purposes. Right. Uh, These things happen to us. That's history. That's right. You can go in that library right here, big library, and look these things up. These things did occur. Not, we're not making things up. They happen to our people. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. Why? Because you have no power. You were slaves. There's nothing you can do but accept whatever coming at you. Right. They used to do, these people used to work 10 times harder so they can keep their family close to them. Read. And then jump to verse 37. Now I'm going to show you why we call ourselves everything else under the earth but our true nationality. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Uh huh. And thou shall become an astonishment. An astonishment is an amazement. Why we were amazing to, to the other nation? Because we. Call, um, we walking around, sagging, um, fighting one another. Guy, man, these are the great people that they don't even know that they are uh, brothers and sisters. They don't even know that they are the greatest people on the earth. Read a proverb. A proverb is a wise saying. If you want to hide something from a black man, what do you do? Put it in the book because we don't like to read. Read and a byword. A byword is is calling you outside of your god given name. They're calling you blacks, African-American, Afro-American, niggas, spicks. All these names are not your true nationality name. They give you those titles. Okay, now jump to verse 48. I'm going to show you. I'm pro all these things I'm proving here are things that pertain unto us. That's right. Nobody else can claim them. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Uh-huh. Therefore, shall thou serve. God says you're going to serve your enemies. Uh-huh. Thine enemies. With the Lord shall send against thee. Those that brought us here, they were not our friends. Right. God says they are your enemies. They not. They were not your friends. Read. In hunger. In hunger. When you need something, even back then in slavery, anytime the, the slave need food, 
shelter, clothes, water, those things they have to go to who? Their slave master. Till today. It's still the same thing today. When you need your um, um, uh, food to eat, where do you go buy your food? In the uh, supermarket, who own them? Same people. We And in thirst, thirst, water. If you don't pay your water bill, what will happen? They'll close it. You're going to cut, cut off. Read. And in nakedness, clothes that you you have on. Do we own those things? No. We buy it from who? The same group of people own them. Uh, uh, read. And in what? Of all things. Everything else that you need, like education, uh, uh, marriage license, death certificate, birth certificate, everything that you need, you got to go to your enemies to get them. That's right. Read. And he, that shall, he is your enemy, uh -huh. shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Who did put a yoke of iron upon our neck? Who did that? I think it's on the back of one of the signs up here. Who, who put a yoke of iron uh, in our neck? This is the God. Let me Who had a yoke of iron up on their, on their neck during slavery? We did. Bible prophecy. Nobody else can claim that. That show you this is a true book. Right. A true book. Read verse 49. It's going to tell you who that is too. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. That nation that going to come and conquer you will be coming from far. Read. From the one end of the earth uh -huh. as swift as the eagle flying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who used the sig uh, uh, signals of uh, uh, eagle? The, huh? And not just America. It goes way back. Started from the Greeks, the Romans, the, uh, and then you have the uh, uh, Americans, the Russians, the, they all use the same, same symbol. Show you something. Since then, uh, those people, those are the enemy that God gonna send against you. We, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. We didn't understand their language. We learned their language. We, a nation of fierce continents, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. See, well, I, around around slavery time, they didn't care if you're old. They didn't care if you were young. Right. The moment you start walking, they put you in that cotton field and go uh, uh, start picking cotton. Right. Um, the same thing for the old people. They don't care if you, how old you are. You could be 80 and you're still picking cotton. Right. That's Bible prophecy. Bible prophecy. Give me verse 68. Now I'm going to give you the one that show you it's only us. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh-huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with Ship. Okay, the word Egypt is synonymous for, for slavery. When you read in Exodus 20 and 2, when we were in Egypt, what were we doing? We were, we were uh, serving the Egyptians as slaves. Saying that we will be brought to Egypt again, a second time, with ships. How did we get to the America? Did we come by um, um, airplane? Ships, right? Cargo slave ships. The Bible prophesied. And what will happen when we get here? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more again. Have you guys seen your homeland ever again? Are you not? No. Bible says that we will not see our homeland ever again. Read. And there, yeah. there, that land, you will be taken by ships. That land. What will happen? And there, ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond What's women. What's bondmen and bond women? Slaves. You'll be sold They're as going. slave men and slave women. Isn't that what happened when we got here? They sold us as slaves? Bible prophecies. Now what can we do to get ourselves in that situation? Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. I'm going to show you what we must do. And we don't have that. In, in, we used to have that back in the day. They used to say it take a community to raise a, 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 a family, a, to raise their children, right? You guys used to hear that term, right? Watch this. This is where it came from. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Uh-huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. God said you're not supposed to hate your brother in your heart. The Bible written in a masculine form, but it's for both women and men, okay? It says you're not supposed to hate your brother and your sisters in your heart. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke. Thy neighbor to rebuke is to correct. If I see you heading the wrong direction, it is my duty to correct you. Say, hey, sis, that's the wrong path. This will lead you to destruction. Turn away. 
this is the right way because that's my job as a brother to lead my sister and my brother in the correct way that's our role we are watchmen according to Ezekiel 3, uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17 that we are the watchmen of Israel to look out for the people and let them know the way to go we and not suffer sin upon so him you guys don't have sin on you once you learn what requires of you then you will start applying god's commandment it looks like you had a question no, 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 no. i asked what what is, um, is he, I, 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 I don't he just um, read I, let me make it short for you let me give you a few scriptures i want you to hear you, me bro, don't go, you can go. Okay, i'm gonna I'm, I'm short time. it out for you now now that i show you that i must show you correction if you are in sin let me show you one of the sin that you are in give me deuteronomy 22. you're not answering you're not answering my question bro. you asked me what the wisdom why does it change the book i said first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6. why can't you use that i'm going to show you what the wisdom the book of deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man the bible says the woman shall not you're not going to teach me anything. Listen, pay attention. You're not going to teach me anything. That's, 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 you're not keeping God's commandment. Pay attention. You can't teach me anything. The Bible God. says, the, uh, the woman, read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman shall not wear that pertaineth unto a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Like matter, the man should not put a woman's garment. Like if you were to see me here with a dress on, would you want to stop and listen to me? No, because that look weird. The Bible speak against that is the same way, vice yes. versa. Okay. Could you show me same thing for you too. It says the woman should not wear that pretension to a man. What do women wear today that pretension? What scripture do you have where it has to be started like that? Pants. Like the one that you have on this description. You see that thing in the front of it? Usually that's supposed to mean you would have a zipper. You can't even break down. Those things is pretend to win. But society that we live in, I know you guys probably didn't know that. Um, uh, society is pushing those things on us. Our sisters didn't used to wear those things. If you have grandmothers, I can guarantee your grandmothers on weapons. Take it easy. Am I? Am I? Am I wrong? Am I going up? Even our grandmothers didn't used to wear those things, but we're doing it. Why? So they can keep us in sin. Remember that scripture I bring out earlier? They want you to stay in sin. If you stay in sin, you're not gonna get out of your situation. You're gonna remain in the bottom. That's that's their goal. Wearing pants is in, is, is one of those examples. Keep that's in right. mind, you're supposed to be royalty. Give me uh, uh, Deuteronomy seven and six. I'm gonna show you. You're not any regular people, and that that's the reason why you cannot dress like anyone. You have to be special. You have to be set apart. You have to be different. Just like when you go to England, I have to use a corner example. Uh, the so-called uh, British that they call themselves royalty. You see how they dress? They get that from us. But yet, we dressing like regular people. We're not supposed to be that way. Give me that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven, verse six. Uh -huh. For there are in holy people. God says you are in holy people. That's right. You're not just like anyone. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. He chose you. He chose you guys, read. To be a special people. Special. You know how that you know how deep that is? God says that you are special. You're not just like anyone. Read. Unto himself. Uh-huh. Above all people. No, he didn't say above all people. I thought we were equal to everyone. Above all people. No, no, no. You mean just like everybody else? Above all people. God says you are above all. But guess what? We acting like niggas. That's right. Therefore, we'll be treated like niggas. Right. When you, when you think of royalty, then you could be treated like royalty. Because when you start keeping God's commandment, you're not going to get pulled over because you're going to follow the, the law of the land. You're learn how to govern yourself among the other nations. Now give me uh, 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 1 Timothy 2 and 9. I'm going to show you why we got to dress modestly because we are royalty. You guys understand what I'm saying? You understand me, sis? Now that we know that, I just give you guys one of the scriptures. And I can see you have your natural hair. That's good. Guess what? This. We just go over the image of Christ. Christ have your hair. Your texture hair, sis. You know how big that is? Your creator got have your hair. Hell with the other nations. What would you want to have your hair like them? Right. Rug that throw. It's Give me that, man. Give me that in Daniel 7 and, uh, uh, da Daniel 7 and 9. Bring it out. Bring I'm going to show you. God have woolly hair. That's right. That's right. We need to make ourselves like him because he is the author of beauty. What would we want ourselves to be like other nations when we're supposed to be the origin of all things? That's 
supposed to copy you. Right. Not the other way around. That's right. Those are the things that we must do to come back to our true nationality, our true heritage. Right. We lost that. Give me that. The book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 9. I beheld till the throne were cast down. And the ancient of day. The ancient of day is God, because he's been there forever. He has right. no beginning, no end. Right? We did sit. Uh-huh. He Who? said that tell you that God have a body. Because we would say that uh, God is a spirit. That, that, that already proved that that's a lie. We. Whose garment was white as snow. That's another thing again. They show you that he had garment. If you have garment, that means you have, must have a body to put that garment on. Right. Right. Right? And he was sitting down. We. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Pure wool. Your hair texture, your hair texture, my hair texture. How in the hell I want to be like them? Take glory to your hair, sis. Give me uh, 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 Proverbs 3 and 31. But guess what? The, the Bible will taste very bitter at first, but it will be sweet for you later on. When you take it in right now, it's not going to be sweet to you. It's like a, a, a medicine. Medicine never tastes good, but it's good for you. That's what we're here for. You may not like what right. I'm saying, but it's supposed to help you. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.